Hello, this is Sam Brulette with SPS. Welcome to the Clinical Minute. On this episode of the Clinical Minute, we're going to cover the next step foot with the glide ankle. This is relatively new to our market. It is a polycentric designed ankle system that allows for two degrees of dorsiflexion during swing phase and a full 15 degrees of plantar flexion. This has given us great control on uneven surfaces, on declines, inclines, sit to stand, relaxed sitting, full toe lever, and the keel of the fiberglass allows for a very smooth rollover and push off. The next step foot with the glide ankle is PDAC approved for L5972 and L5968. Now, a lot of people think that the L5968 is a hydraulic ankle code. It's actually dorsi swing phase or dorsiflexion during swing phase. If we look at the PDAC uh, description on this, the full description is addition to lower limb prosthesis, multi-axial ankle with swing phase active dorsiflexion feature. Now, I know this covers a lot of hydraulic ankles, and that's generally what we think about. But this being a polycentric design is very unique and covers those uh, K2 patients all the way up in transitional K3, low K3, moderate K3 patients. The next step foot with the glide ankle also comes at 3.125 inches, making it one of the shortest or lowest profile designs on the market today. The specifications for this system is a 23 to 28 centimeter foot. It will go up to a 275 pound weight range and has that 24 month warranty and comes with the spectra sock and foot shell. Let's take a look at the glide ankle in action. As the patient contacts the ground, you'll see the ankle moves into that 15 degrees of plantar flexion. As they roll over, you're achieving that two degrees of dorsiflexion. But also because this being a polycentric design, if you look really closely at mid stance or from early foot flat to mid stance, uh, you'll see a shift, a linear shift of position of body weight over the foot. And you can see on these slides right here, that at early foot flat, and if you look at the centric point in the front, the front centrics, you'll see that they actually move slightly anterior, uh, allowing for the body weight to shift anterior over the foot system. For more information on the next step foot and the glide ankle, please check out spsco.com. And if, for further information, please reach out to myself or Liz Hillen at clinical at spsco.com. Thank you and have a great day.